So for anyone that's missed it, a Texas district court has sanctioned a TV add-ons operator for failing to disclose evidence requested by Dish Network. He must now share how much money he earned through tvaddons.ag and offshoregit.com. At the same time, the court reprimanded his lawyer for disruption of court proceedings. So as most of you are aware, last year there was a lot going on when it came to TV add-ons in the Dish Network. Well, it seems that we're actually getting a bit more information from this this case now. So as most of you probably already know, last year Dish Network filed the complaint against ZemTV and TV add-ons, both accused of copyright infringement and facing up to $150,000 in damages for each single offence. So the developer of ZemTV did initially have a fundraiser, but he's now decided to not put up a fight. The owner of TV add-ons, however, has been defending himself in court, and he's been doing this by crowdfunding and raising money from the public. Now, this is one of the things that does annoy me a little bit when TV add-ons are used using crowdfunded money instead of their own and they are being very obstructive when it comes to providing evidence and this has actually resulted in a recent fine where they now have to pay Dish's legal fees for recovering that evidence. So last week Dish actually informed the court that the owner of TV add-ons had failed to provide crucial evidence and the main issue was that TV add-ons owner hadn't shared the details of the revenue and profit that he made through tvaddons.ag and offshoregit.com and after after the lawyers on both sides couldn't reach an agreement, Dish then asked the court for an order compelling TV add-ons owner to disclose the information. Now the judge, Vanessa Gilmore, agreed that the financial details should be handed over. So in an order signed a couple of weeks ago, she compelled the owner of TV add-ons to disclose the requested financial information. And this also included banks and cryptocurrency exchanges used. So now he must provide all documents identifying his revenue, costs and gross profits profit relating to tvaddons.ag, offshoregit.com, and this is from February 2015, all the way to June 2017. So as I said, because this evidence wasn't provided in a timely manner, he now has to pay Dish $2,835 to cover the legal expenses that arose from this discovery dispute. So this is frustrating that another $3,000 has been wasted because he wouldn't initially hand over the details. For me, it's disappointing. When he is using crowdfunded money instead of his own, I do think he should be a lot more careful with it. But on that note, he did did actually hand over his taxable income and this was for 2015 to 2017 and as you can see here it was 177,638 Canadian dollars in 2015, 117,875 Canadian dollars in 2016 and all the way down to $14,017 in 2017. Now of course 2017 is when his domains were seized but of course there could be many reasons why this is lower probably because he created the new tv addons.co that would have had a lot of expenses i don't know if legal expenses would have been included in this so this is taxable income so this is after any expenses or deduction these numbers are profit so i assume there are a lot more expenses in 2017 and of course the domains were seized in 2017 so once they were seized it would have stopped that revenue stream so this is quite annoying as most of you will know the owner of tv addons constantly said that he wasn't making much money whereas if you look at this he was actually making over double the average Canadian income which is about $51,000 in 2017. So it will be interesting and I'm sure for a lot of you to find out how much was made from tvaddons.ag as well as offshoregit.com and it won't be long until we find out. But another thing that's happened, after the court inquired why the owner of TV add-ons failed to provide the discoverable documents, defense counsel for TV add-ons falsely stated to the court, if you're going to yell at me, this conversation is over. I don't care if you're a judge and he hung up the phone prior to the conclusion of the telecom conference and according to Judge Gilmore these comments were aimed to lessen the authority and dignity of the court and now during a scheduled hearing in September the attorney has the opportunity to explain why he shouldn't be held in direct contempt of court so all things considered it's not going very well for the TV add-ons owner at the moment and personally I've been against the fundraisers from the start one thing that annoys me is every time they're raising money they're creating a new fundraiser and not really mentioning anything about the old ones so it'd be nice for people to see when they donate how much money has already been raised 
As we know from the past, the first one, the generosity, they've now completely shut that off the web so you cannot see it. So I don't know how much was raised on that, but last time I looked, it was 29,722. They then had the GoFundMe, which raised 46,881. And they've now got the new GoFundMe, which is currently on 14,143. Now, of course, when it comes to this subject, a lot of people have different opinions. And of course, we do want TV add-ons to win this court case. I just think that everyone should be careful before making donations. One thing that does really worry me is if they do run out of money and in turn lose the court case, this will be a lot of money wasted and money wasted by you guys. On top of that, as I said, it's disappointing the way he hasn't provided things that have been requested and in turn has resulted in them having to pay Dish's legal expenses from the crowdfunded money. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts on this down in the description below. If you've donated, if you haven't, if you agree with it, if you don't, it would be nice to see what everyone thinks. But as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel